Okay, Josh, you're asking me about where to get star bits and how to do that. Okay, so here's what you have to do. You have to go to the Dueling Peaks, and right there where it says Shivanir Shrine, uh, go up to that shrine. Once you get into the shrine, you turn around, and right behind the shrine, you'll see a little hill that's there. You climb up the hill to the top, and throw your firewood down on the ground, start the fire up however you can start it with fire arrows or whatever and when it when it says sit you you click on the sit and you wait until night time once it's night time then you come over to the edge of the cliff and you sit and you look about where i've got it right here and you just wait you have to wait for it to come and it can come anywhere from 9 30 to 2 in the morning their time so you just have to sit and wait once you see that um that star bit shooting to the ground you'll see it's like a shooting star once you see that then mark it with your binoculars get on your binoculars and there's a like different colored markers okay mark exactly where the star bits at then when you let go of that that red dot will be up there on your little map and then you crouch down and you know to get that burst and it shoots you right up into the sky okay you crouch down boom shoots you all the way up into the air and then you fly all the way down to uh where you've marked the uh star bit to be at and then just go over there and pick it up and that's it okay next is bomb arrows now the best place to get the bomb arrows is right where the map is showing you right there uh gore tor shrine and when you get up there uh, once you come out, you'll see this scene right here. Now you can go cook something if you want to get your food up or whatever you want to do. And right beyond that, right off the edge of the cliff, you'll see um, one of those upward draft of uh, air just shooting up from the ground. You jump off the cliff, get fly over to that uh, with the air shooting up. It'll pick you all the way up to the top and then you face to your right which would be I guess east and then you just zoom all the way down to uh, the, as far as you can go just stay as high as you can and it'll take you right to the trees where the bobbling dudes are at now once you get up to where the tree is don't go all the way up to them go to the right probably where the the ground is over there and start a fire up once you start the fire up then you sit and you wait till the next morning if it's not raining then you wait then you start the fire again wait till noon if it's still not raining start the fire back up wait till morning again you go from morning to noon morning to noon back and forth until you get some rain once you get the rain then you come down over here and you just run back and forth across the field there and they're going to be shooting bomb arrows at you but because it's raining they're not exploding they're just falling to the ground and you run around and you pick them up as many as you want now it'll only last for so long and then the rain will stop and then there'll be explosions all over the place and if you hang around there, you're going to die so what you do then is you zap back to the tower again and from that point instead of going forward to where the uh you, the cooking pot was turn around and go behind the shrine and you'll see this now it's a boblin uh skull where there's a bunch of them hanging out there and so fly down to the skull land on top of the skull and then you'll see uh two centuries out there with bows and arrows one here and then the other one's over here and you can shoot them and when you kill them uh they usually drop their their arrows and then you pick them up and they're bomb arrows and you've got your five or ten bomb arrows for each one that you kill now the best thing to do before you do that is to save as soon as you land on that skull save and then when you go over there to shoot them 
if you kill him and he hasn't dropped any arrows, then you just go back to the undo the save and start all over again. If you do that a couple of times, sooner or later, he's when he dies and he falls to the ground w along with his bow, there'll be arrows there and you'll get um, bomb arrows. Same thing with the other guy.